hear guys saying there's no job description for a sniper on the outside world. Like my brother and I are snipers. We don't, not that description, but what goes into making that up, that, that particular qual. You never lose those. Imagine your life is the academy. It's the core. <laughs> and, and, and having well, kids well, we and, and being married baby, is like a field like, trial. Oh. Yeah, exactly. That's how I, yeah. when that started happening, this I was is, like, this is, this is good training. <laughs> right? Because you can easily get frustrated. Like when you go back, when Mojo, I'll never forget this, when Mojo went back to school, man. He took this one for the team. And uh, two, we, we were all fired up. Anytime we get a new endeavor, I mean, I fire him up more about it and vice versa. And I'm like, he's like, man, two weeks into it, he's like, bro, I'm back in school. This is terrible. I got to sit in traffic. I was like, no, it's going to be great, man. You're going to get an education. <laughs> because you, you forget that. You forget that part, man. And it's just, that's worth it, though, man. Yeah, grad school was a doom. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, um, what's your never quit story? You have one. All right. So, you know, we, when you guys asked me this, I um, the first story that came to mind, I figured I should tell it because it was actually really important to me, like, uh, you know, and, and, and where I ended up. But um, it might not be – I mean, you know, I think some of the folks in the, that you've had before have these kind of incredibly inspiring never-quit stories. I figure that some of your listeners – might have occasions where they have to never quit because they've gotten themselves into a bad spot through sheer dumb dumbassery. No, and that is uh, that is a basically that's a, that's a real <laughs> word. Quit story. Yep, uh, is me being a dumbass. So I was like, I was like sixteen or seventeen, uh, and I was visiting family in Montana, and I went out hiking in the mountains on my own. It was a beautiful day, and I had a little day pack, and I had the the Brothers Karamazov off by Dostoevsky in my bag, which is. I was reading it for the first time. It's probably the greatest novel ever written, I think. Oh, and, all right. um, which one? Oh, I'm sorry, say that again. Which one do you? The Brothers, the Brothers Karamazov, oh. uh, by Dostoevsky, and um, and so I'm out, and I see these beautiful white cliffs, and they're just gorgeous, and I kind of want to climb them. I like climbing things. Now, I didn't actually, I didn't know how to climb really, right? I would just sort of climb. Cliffs and rocks. So are you saying this is one of those spontaneous things that we were talking about first thing at the show? Totally spontaneous. Yeah, this would be my spontaneous. There you go, Patreon. I'm thinking like I'm alone. It's stupid to you know climb off trail you know when there's nobody around. But whatever. Like beautiful day, beautiful cliffs. It's going to be awesome. I'll get up to the top and I'll read this book and it's going to be wonderful. So I get up and I get about midway up the cliff and I'm pretty high, Um, high enough that like. (laughs) <laughs> I definitely would have broken a lot of things if I've fallen and maybe it would have just sort of straightforwardly killed me if I'd fallen. Um, and I've got two good handholds and I've got like an okay foothold and I go up um, to like another foothold and I put my weight on it and it breaks under my right foot. And then I like sort of jolt down and because I put all my weight on my left foot, it breaks that as well. And the rock just kind of crumbles. And then I'm sort of just hanging from the cliff with my, uh, uh, you know, just from the two sort of good handholds. And now I've just broken the, the holds that I used to get up to where I was. Um, and I don't see any other way of uh, going either forward or back. And so I was just sort of like hanging there. Um, for what seemed like a very long time and sort of like looking down and being like, all right, like I'm a, I'm a moron. Like I'm going to uh, hang here for a while and then, and then eventually I'm going to get tired. I'm going to fall. And then I'm just going to be best case scenario, broken well off the trail at the bottom of this cliff. Um, and uh, you know, that's not a good day. So uh, eventually I just start like, just trying shit because what else do I have to do? <laughs> That's the best way to say that. And uh, I, now I didn't like, as I said, I didn't know how to climb. There's a fairly basic technique called stemming, right? That people would know. Um, and, but I, you know, I didn't know since I didn't train to do any of this. I basically am able to get to a place where I sort of essentially do a push up, a pull up. And I'm, and I put my right leg sort of far out where the rock face comes out a little, so that I'm able to, even though there's nothing to 
stand on. I can get some pressure against the rock face uh, on my right side and then kind of pressure against the rock face uh, with my left. And I am able to sort of leverage that into just, just enough uh, to get up, get to another handhold, keep climbing. And I get to the top and sit up at the top. And then I'm like, okay, you know, uh, <laughs> I nearly just killed myself. That was, that was something. This is the Team Never Quit Podcast. Podcast. So buckle up, buttercup. 